I sort of quit going to the gym. And that might sound fucking crazy to you because this is a channel about, you know, becoming the best version of yourself and becoming fit and healthy is definitely a major part of that. But I haven't been going much recently. I've started just doing body weight training and a bit of MMA training because that's something I'm passionate about as well. But I stopped going to the gym because I realized it wasn't something, getting big isn't my priority right now. And the reason why I didn't commit to YouTube for so long is because I was thinking about all these other things and now it's summer break and now I'm not doing university for the rest of the summer. Then it's easy to commit to this one thing, which is YouTube, all right? Whatever it is for you, if your actual priority is to become as big as possible, right? Then could just fuck, up, fuck everything else, bro. There's a great quote, I don't know exactly who said it, but it's sacrifice for what you want or what you want becomes a sacrifice, all right? And, and people will think sacrifice only, you know, the really toxic friends, sacrifice only the really bad habits. As long as you sacrifice those things, it's okay. But I'm here to tell you, bro, if you actually want to get to the top of something, if you actually want to achieve something of magnitude, right? You've got to sacrifice the little and the big things. You've got to sacrifice not just the really toxic friends, but the friends don't, that don't support you as much as you want. The friends that don't believe in the same values as you. You've got to sacrifice not only some good things, but some bad things as well. Sorry, I phrased that wrong. Not only the bad things, but good things as well. For example, the gym. I sacrificed a really good habit because it was time consuming. Because I, I started to see going to the gym as something that would tie me out for the rest of the day. It would completely drain me of all my energy. Even going like three times a week. It just completely drained me, man. And I just started to focus more on losing at YouTube. I, I just made a, a past video. I was talking about how I started losing on YouTube. And that's got me to the point now where I'm starting to grow and I'm starting to actually get somewhere with this. You know, I'm starting to become a winner. So, yeah, that might sound weird, but you have to sacrifice the fucking good habits sometimes, right? I've started, I've stopped meditating. Meditating doesn't really work for me. And I know that's like a cliche thing to say, right? But to some extent, it really doesn't. I'm not saying I don't do any sort of habits like meditation. I visualize instead because firstly it's a time alone with your thoughts and secondly it's actually productive and getting you towards your goals and it helps you focus and it helps your imagination and your creativity so i've sacrificed meditation for visualizing instead because that actually gets me towards where my goal is in terms of youtube so that's the thing man that's the thing you've got to realize that sacrificing things and you know these kind of things it goes further than just the bad things. If you truly want to get to the top of something, you've got to sacrifice friendships, you've got to sacrifice habits and hobbies even. All right, I was doing climbing for a while, like mountain climbing, like indoor climbing with the boulders and shit. You climb to the top, you touch the top, and you're, you're getting better over time. You're climbing more difficult problems and difficult obstacles. But I wasn't really passionate about it. It was fun, don't get me wrong, it was fun, but I wasn't passionate about it. And... It was a waste of time and a waste of money for me. It was like forty pound a month for um, for a membership, and like I could spend that on so much more, bro. I could spend that on so much more that is more meaningful to me. And I'm talking about like my MMA class that I started quite recently. I've always been passionate about martial arts. It's just something like of a side quest that I most care about. So I'm committing to that, and I don't mind wasting time committing to that, right? It's like a few sessions a week, maybe like two sessions a week. And it makes me feel capable, makes me feel strong. Surround something with people that I actually like and that actually bring me up. That's, that's, a, that's a worthy sacrifice to me. You've got to figure out, all right, what's an actual worthy sacrifice? You've got probably a couple of hobbies which you're just hanging on to just for the sake of it. I have a friend that was training like five, three to five times a week badminton. And he's not planning on becoming a professional badminton player. He's just doing it because he's holding onto it and it doesn't actually value him as much as it did before. And he wants to become an entrepreneur. He's an entrepreneur because he started giving up things like that, giving up badminton, all right? So you've got to give up the, the fucking, the, the little things. And you've got to create that number one priority in order to become 
the most successful version of yourself. All right, brother, check out the links below. If you want help with this kind of stuff, check out the uh, free consultation coaching call. It'll be like 20 to 30 minutes. I'll guide you through your current problems and we'll find some solutions for you, brother. All right, peace out.